Marc Jacobs has left the building. Is it for the last time? Well, by the time you see this, you'll probably know whether that was his last collection for Louis Vuitton or not. Whatever, it was a remarkable combination of reflection and celebration. We started out looking at Esther Williams and synchronated swimming and doing this whole white spectacle and showgirls and flamboyance and all this stuff. And then we thought, no, nobody wears white. We all wear black navy, whatever, and then we just thought about how we could decorate things, birds, feathers, peacocks, plumes, and it, it just became this kind of mad, weird showgirl thing. We wanted to do a headdress, almost like a showgirl headdress, but to try to do the most sort of beautiful and poetic version of one. We just tried to make that the lightest materials, and it was burnt peacock and burnt pheasant, and they all become very transparent and light. I was reminded of Cher. <laughs> Bogmaki in a very like elegant style. It was very clever. It was 1930s, 80s, very wearable. Well, Cher was a big part of this. Barbara was a big part of it. Judy, all the legendary divas, all the women who dress to show the world the showgirl in them. So transcendently beautiful and clothes for sort of everyone. In a weird way, it was the fashion collection that I think Vuitton had been looking for. It was a really beautiful collection and it kind of emphasised what Marc Jacobs has brought to Louis Vuitton. He gave it street cred and you could see that in that collection where he pitched Victorian funeral black against jeans and made that look incredible. You saw interesting parallels between this and the collection in New York, this sort of relaxed, almost sport aspect of these gorgeous sheer tank dresses over a pair of jeans. I liked the Sprouse reference. That was maybe my favorite thing. Yeah, I mean, and, and the way she came in, almost like walking down the streets of Rio Carnival. There was a celebratory element to it as well, but you can't help but feel a tinge of sadness and maybe a little bit of curiosity about what's to happen next. There was lots of gossip about it being a retrospective collection and you sort of looked at what was in front of you and just thought, well, yeah, we looked at Sprouse graffiti and the masks from the fetish collection, but. There wasn't much more than that. To pull everything together like this in one show obviously suggests you're either closing a chapter or opening a new one. Every show, I approach it like it's the last show I'm ever going to do. And I'm not like, what does this mean? I mean, I really wasn't thinking that way. So it was really kind of just what it was.